To create the rough openings for the windows and the doors, we're going to use the elevation views of the model. So we will need to turn on in the outliner panel, we will start with the front elevation. So we will turn that component on. And then in the scenes, we can orient the model to whichever view that you that you like. But this is um, will allow us to kind of work on the uh, rough openings for the windows and the doors. So we will start with this window assembly that is here on the front of the of the building. In order to edit the exterior walls RO group, we will need to double click on the group. You know that you're in edit mode because of the bounding box that shows up around the edge of the object. We're going to use the rectangle tool in order to create the shapes for the window openings. So we'll select the rectangle tool. And we will come into the elevation view reference file and click on one of the corners. So we want this to be locked on the green axis. So in order to make sure that it is, we can press our left arrow key on the keyboard that will lock it onto the X axis. And then you can select the upper corner or the opposite corner for the rectangle. So we're gonna just repeat this process for all three of the rectangle shapes that are gonna represent the window openings. So again, I'm just pressing the left arrow key on the keyboard in order to lock the rectangle to the green axis. Then I'm clicking on the opposite corner. I will press the select tool or press the space bar on my keyboard in order to deactivate the rectangle command. Since we are editing the exterior walls, you will notice that the bounding box included the rectangles that we just um, created because now they are a part of that exterior walls um, RO group. The next thing that we're gonna do is move these rectangles to the surface of the group. So in our toolbar, we're going to locate the move command. So I'm gonna click on move. And I'm gonna select that rectangle. I want this to move along the green axis. I'm gonna press the left mouse button on the keyboard and then make sure that this is on the face of the exterior walls and click there. And I'm just gonna repeat that process for the other rectangular shapes. So I'm still in the move command. I'm clicking on the face of the rectangle, pressing the left um, arrow key on the keyboard then moving to the surface of the exterior walls group and clicking on that surface. So those three rectangles that were created using the elevation view have now been moved to the surface of the exterior walls RO group. I will press the space bar on my keyboard or go to the select tool in the toolbar 